Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. Hey, man, y'all tune in right now with Gunsling over the great, man. Fastest Gunsling east of the Mississippi River. Let me know what the fuck, man. For oh, sure. Right there, too, man. Yeah, yeah, man, we live, man, from the box right now. You know what I'm saying? Live with 16 shot, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know what's going on, man. Okay, the first thing I want to ask you is, like, where, where you get your name from? Oh, uh, you know what crazy? This is crazy you just asked me that, too, because I ain't, mm, this crazy. The person who gave me my name and shit, like, okay, my name Gunner. You feel me? Like, everybody know me as Gunner and shit like that. You feel me? Like, my first rap name was Gunner and shit. So it's crazy, because goddamn, when I got locked up, I got locked up in uh 2016. So as soon as I get locked up, and I got down, finally got them get down, you know what I'm saying? I got down to prison and shit like that from the county jail and shit. Everybody like, bro, it's a nigga stole your name. It's a nigga named Gunner. It's a nigga named Gunner out, bro. You got to change your name. So, you know what I'm saying? But everybody still call me Gunner. Like, everybody in here call me Gunner and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's most of my rap name, but it was a, it was a crip, it was a crip nigga in here, you know what I'm saying? I'm blood, so you know what I'm saying? It was a crip nigga, though. And he was like, he used to just stay calling me Gunsmoke, you feel me? I, um, he just stay calling me like Gunsmoke, Gunsmoke, you know what I'm saying? Every time he wants something from this song, they call me Gunsmoke. So got them, um, one day we shooting dice in here, you know what I'm saying? We shooting dice, you know what I'm saying? I be going out to the dice game, fucking their ass up on the dice. I used to be like, you feel me, got them. Um, Gunsmoke the Great. I used to be like, you know what I'm saying? My name Gunsmoke the Great. I'm the Great. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas can't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Just on some talking shit. You feel me? And I was like, man, you feel me? We be in here rapping and shit. I was like, I'm stick with that shit. You feel me? That Gunsmoke the Great. And I stuck with that shit. You feel me? Just on some catchy playing around with that shit. So. Makes sense. So, like, I heard you was, you was born in New Orleans or something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm really born and raised in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? I've been. I mean, you know what I'm saying, like since Hurricane Katrina, you feel me, after Hurricane Katrina, you know what I'm saying, we stayed a little bit everywhere. We stayed in Mississippi, you know what I'm saying, we stayed in Houston, you feel me, Dallas, you know what I'm saying, but we ended up really settling in, in like Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, so I spent a lot of time in Atlanta at the same time too, so I grew up a little bit out of there at the same time, you feel me, so I've been going back and forth from Atlanta to, you know what I'm saying, New Orleans, you know what I'm saying, down to my whole school life, you feel me, like that, until my, until my senior year, damn it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, how, how was life for you in New Orleans? Like, coming up, like, what type of shit was you into? I mean, you know, I, I had the regular childhood, you know what I'm saying, the, the childhood of a regular, you know what I'm saying, child, you know what I'm saying? Shit was, like, after Hurricane Katrina, you know what I'm saying, like, I was, I was eight when Hurricane Katrina came, so, you know what I'm saying, Hurricane Katrina, you know what I'm saying, after that, you know what I'm saying? Got them just living everywhere. You feel me? Like, we done stayed in the trenches everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We stayed in Houston. You know what I'm saying? We stayed on the south side of Houston. You feel me? Like, in the trenches. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, after we got, we, we got our first FEMA check and shit, and we stayed at uh, Dallas. You know what I'm saying? And that was, like, our best, one of the best houses we stayed in. Then when we got to Atlanta and shit, we stayed in, like, a good little house and shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, you know what I'm saying? Niggas used to be into all kinds of shit. I got so many cousins and family and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to be like my big cousin and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Be in the street, smoke weed, and nigga listening to goddamn, nigga listening to Wayne, and you know what I'm saying? The hot boys and shit growing up and shit like that, you feel me? So, so it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? And like the culture in New Orleans, it was like a culture shock from coming from New Orleans to, to Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Just going different places, you know what I'm saying? Learning. I really love other places though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got this, I be loving being in different places and shit with you Run up, you know what I'm saying? I got them. And New Orleans was really something out of a, out so of like, a book, but I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit really like crazy. That shit not gonna record. What all was different though, like as far as the lifestyle? Like, was it like the food, the way people talk, the weather, shit like that? Well, got there, like, I'm talking about like as far as like, we got a routine and shit like that, but New Orleans so small, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, it's damn near like, niggas be, niggas be saying how New Orleans curse, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we be on a lot of, 
it's a lot of shit that, that happened, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you from Chicago, so I already know you know, you know what I'm saying? It's probably like the same shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, niggas is right, right down the street from each other, you know what I'm saying? Beef with it, you know what I'm saying? So the city's so small, when you beef, everybody goes to the same shit, you feel me? People be so niggas, bro, niggas be dying. Yeah. Niggas dying more than anything I ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, more than anywhere I stayed. I know people personally that died. You know, I lost my cut. My cousin got shot 14 times. Then when I was in like sixth grade, you feel know me? Like, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? That shit traumatized me. You know what I'm saying? That shit was traumatizing. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta ask you because you in jail. Is that what I think it is? Did you just roll a blunt while you in the cell? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I got the ghetto. You know? Uh, how you, how you, I'm, I'm confused, like, where the fire come from? What the, like, how is you doing this? <laughs> it be a crazy process. Is it, is it still recording on this? So even if it ain't out, I got it on his still, so. That shit not recording, man. Um, don't even worry about it. This this shit, it ain't lagging. This shit though, right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, though. You know what I'm saying? But for so, sure, yeah. I got them like, this is the gas, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they caught me on a bad day, so nigga ain't got too much of this shit. You feel me? With. This is the real one. You feel me? Not the little one. That's crazy. So how you how you how you get the uh the blunt lit? So look. Well, I ain't got the shit set up in my room because I'm cooking right now. You feel me? Um, I ain't got the shit set up in my room because I'm cooking right now. But got the like you know, you know, you know, they be you see what this is right there. You know, that that tissue. You feel me? That basically that's a nigga lighter. Niggas know about no wicks. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas know about no wicks and shit. But basically, I was cooking this shit. But see how nigga got this shit right here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we take the the power and shit like that, the electricity, and usually we have a pencil. We'll put a pencil right there. You know, electricity plus that's a little that's a little gel one on one for y'all. Eh? You know what I'm saying? That's a little not even gel one on one. That's a little a little life one on one for y'all. Eh? Electricity plus lead is <coughs> powerful for y'all. Eh? You know what I'm saying? For sure. Gonna make me a little bacon cheeseburger and shit. Yeah, you spoke on cooking, like you know how how y'all be cooking and that, like what type of shit you be having going on on the cooking side? Cause you know people yeah, okay. on the outside when they hear cooking, they probably hear, they probably thinking some regular shit. They don't know y'all be using noodles and this and that. So I want you to show them how, got, how y'all got real the real bacon. I love it. So y'all so different shit. They got the real, you know what I'm saying? Like all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Hold up, you See, don't want to turn the camera up. I don't got no button to flip it. Oh, that shit don't want to be so this shit. But nigga really got like all kinds of shit. Like I'm finna, I'm, I'm finna eat me a bacon cheeseburger right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga got bacon and shit. Nigga, I be having this shit. Like this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit. Yeah. Is <laughs> Cool, crazy. Got that cereal, you know what I'm saying? Like bags of cereal and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, all kinds of shit. Like, that's it. We got those. We have all kinds of shit. Um, it was like you good in that though. Like how you, you know, how you get to where you at? Like, was it always like that for you? Pepperoni. Shit, like what you mean? As far as what? Like talking about like since I've been locked up. Yeah, because you know some people, some people in jail, you know they be struggling. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't doing interviews or six. Oh no, nah, for sure not nah, here now. Nah. Yeah, no, nah, like man, nigga got them. Man, like nah, not nah, like. Don't get me wrong though. I done had got them. I done had it. Is, it have been times where I done had phones and I ain't have nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? Got them. But once a nigga found, once a nigga. Once a nigga found the little, you know what I'm saying, all the little hustles and shit, man, you know what I'm saying? It's all kind of ways to get money and shit like that. Feel me? Even before I started doing the music shit. Even before I started doing the little music tip, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was got done doing all kinds of shit. So was that your first time being uh, incarcerated? Yeah, that was my first time down the road, bro. You know, it's crazy now. I, I done been locked up before, though. I done been locked up, you know what I'm saying, in the county and shit like that. 
And uh, nigga, I got um, um, nigga, I had to, nigga, I had to sit out in the county. You know what I'm saying? A day or two at a time. But nigga ain't never got them had no bid or nothing like that. Like, I actually thought I was gonna wag this shit. You feel me? I actually thought I was gonna wag this shit. You feel me? I'm like, I'm really innocent. You feel me? Like, if you ask me, <laughs> you feel you know, nigga, innocent. You feel me? But uh, nigga got them in this innocent and shit like that. So it be it be crazy. You know what I'm saying? But you be even think about that shit. Like as I be reflecting on that shit, like thinking about thinking about that shit, man. You feel me? Niggas just ready to go though. Yeah. That's why I don't. That's why I don't. That's why I started this music shit. You feel me? Like niggas got them. Got to have something to go home to, bro. Like niggas, all that street shit, man, in the street and shit, doing all that crazy shit, man. Niggas is dying and niggas is coming in it and never going home. You feel me? So niggas like look at this, look at this shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Niggas got a chance to make something happen, man. Niggas gonna do this shit, bro. Fuck that shit. You feel me? Like, I feel like I could do the same shit niggas is doing. You feel me? Like. I be feeling like the streets need a real, some real in the game anyway. You feel me? Like all these niggas fake. The niggas that, the, the niggas that, you feel me? That's out right now, bro. The shit niggas rapping about, you know what I'm saying? Like we really did that shit. You feel me? Like they doing that shit. Like it ain't nothing under the sun, nigga, to say that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't too much under, I ain't gonna say nothing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't too much under the sun, nigga, to say that they done did, you know what I'm saying? That we ain't did in the streets, bro. So you mind speaking on like what that shit got a nigga? What you got locked up for? Nigga got down, um, yeah, nigga was charged with the armed robbery and the home invasion, you feel me? Like, like I said, though, like the play, like it was armed robbery, home invasion, everybody was sold first degree version, then false imprisonment, like it was like a bunch of shit, but uh, they was like doing like two, three counts in it of, of, of all kind of crazy shit, you feel me? Uh, that shit was crazy, you know, nigga like really was facing like some other shit, you feel me? And like I said, like I was in the county, the county like, bro, I'm talking about imagine being going and going and going into the county and you go in a dorm where every person in the dorm is white. Like, no, but like, not an inmate, officer, nurse. You get in the car and you go to court and you're looking out the windows and the people like, the fuck, like, they see a black nigga in the car, like, they see a nigga in my side, like, some shit like that. Like, I don't know. They in the wrong. You know, how was that for you? What you, what you been the only black person type shit, like, was it a lot of racial tension? She here, y'all had to slap. I had to slap a crack in the seat. I had to slap on them a crack. I had to slap. I had to slap on them nigga. Hey, you know, um, it was crazy though, cause like I was trying to act like I was green enough. So you know what I'm saying? So like I was acting like I was green. Like them folks ain't me. You know what I'm saying? Me. So I was acting like I was green. Really, you know what I'm saying? So they were she thought she was sweet. You feel me? One day and shit like that on some cra some crazy shit happened. So uh. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you this story. So this shit was crazy. So got them. Um, what the fuck? Oh yeah. So the way the the way the dorms and shit was, it was like the jail so small. It's only four. I mean, it probably like eight eight cells. You know what I'm saying? So got them. It be so crowded. It get overcrowded sometimes. So niggas be on the boats. They put you on the little boats, and you got to sleep in the day room. So. They leave one of the doors open at night so you could go back and forth and goddamn use the bathroom and shit like that. If you got to use the bathroom, you sleep out on one of the boats. So goddamn, a nigga had done went, or uh, one of the white boys had done went home. So I, I moved in the room with one of the white boys and shit like that because I was in there the longest. So goddamn, he was a young, he was a younger white boy though, you know what I'm saying? He was a younger white boy, you know what I'm saying? So goddamn, I moved in the room with him and shit like that, you feel me? Goddamn. Me and him talking at night, but you know, like I'm sleeping all day and shit like that. You feel me? Like I be up at night, you know what I'm saying? I'm sleeping all day and shit like that. So I be up at night. So me and him talking shit, but I'm I used to just be up rapping songs and shit, trying to trying to just go uh, just rapping, not even my songs, you know what I'm saying? Just songs, period. You know what I'm saying? So we up talking, and nigga leave out the room and got down. He leave out the room and he go press the button and tell the people like that I'm that I'm got down. Singing or rapping or whatever like that, I tell him, I'm like, man, what is you? What you got? If you wanted me to be quiet, I, I'd be quiet and shit. You feel me? So he go to acting crazy and shit. You feel me? Calling me a nigga and all kinds of shit. You feel me? So I, I'm acting green because at the same time, I'm like, man, you feel me? Niggas trying to. But when I got up there, they told me if I get locked up for, uh, they told me if I get to fighting while I'm down there, they nigga get five extra years of the sentence or some shit. I'm, I'm just green to all this shit. So I'm, I'm believing this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I leave bro alone. 
we wake up the next morning, this nigga done put himself on the door. But they used to give out razors, and I used to think I used to think razor call were mandatory. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I, I took a razor, but you gotta turn the razors back in. You know what I'm saying? They they look for the razors. And it was time to turn the razors back in. Got them. I'm looking for my razor, but home's gonna put itself on the door. You know what I'm saying? He gone, so he in a different norm. My razor gone. You know what I'm saying? So I go tell the people, I ain't even know it was that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? So I go tell the people, like, oh yeah, my razor gone and shit like that. And I go to tell the name my razor gone and shit. Feel me, got them. It's like them folks came, got them. They shook everybody down. They did all this shit. It was like they let us smoke cigarettes and shit. Everything out of They said no smoke breaking nothing like that. So the whole dorm going to just acting crazy, thinking it's my fault. They already know I'm a black person. You know what I'm so they they already really racist. They just ain't had the nuts to say nothing. So that shit just broke the ice though. You feel me? Like they go to acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just so they feeding us that and I shook her down and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They still ain't found the razor. So got them. Really, the white boy had to end up flush. I found out later down the line, the white boy ended up flushing it down the toilet and shit. But boom. I ended up, long story short, I slapped one of them nigga ass and shit like that. You feel me? I done went to the hole. That shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That shit was a crazy experience, bro. Is it like a lot of uh, racism or like uh, like prison racist gang shit like that out there? I, in the county jail I was at, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got down like them folks was KKK. Them folks was got down. Them folks was Aryan brothers. You feel me? Like that was some real. That was some real shit. You feel me? Like some real racist play. Before jail, was you ever around that type of shit? Shit, hell no. Nah. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in, I'm in cities and shit like that. You feel me? Like I said, you know, I ain't, I, I ain't never, I ain't never seen no shit like that. Yeah, no. So how was it, you know, coming across shit like that? Because, you know, a motherfucker from the hood and you come across some racism. Bro, the place, bro, the place I was at, bro, this on God, bro. The place I was at, bro, in that place, like, they got a hill, they got a hill, they got a hill called Blood Mountain. It got a sign when you, like, when it got a sign when you going up there, that shit say, don't let the sunset fall on your black ass. Oh, God. Like, it's one of them kind of places. Like, that shit get real. That's crazy. So back to your uh the the armed robbery case that you uh locked up for like how long did you get sentenced and how long was you actually facing before you got sentenced? Yeah, I was facing like I said I was facing more than just the armed robbery feeling like nigga I had armed robbery home face so nigga these niggas these niggas that these niggas they got life for armed robbery yeah you feel me like you know what I'm saying you, armed robbery is is is, a, is a considered a life sentence you feel me like you know what I'm saying. So like nigga was facing a lot, you feel me? But I ended up, you know what I'm saying, having a 10 year sentence, you feel me? A full 10 year sentence. You feel me? So you know, yeah. You know, how did you feel when, when you heard them numbers? Like not even when you got sentenced, but just when you heard what you was facing, like was you was you like confident that you feel like you was gonna beat it? Man, you feel me? Like I said, I thought I, I thought I was gonna beat it, you feel me? Because even when every time I done been locked up before, you feel me, got like, down. I don't want it too much, you feel me? I don't know what I'm saying, but like, I thought I was going to beat it because I don't want to say what happened, you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? I thought I was going to beat it. You feel me? And once I realized I couldn't beat it, though, you feel me? Got down, and everybody else had the hard that and took what they did. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Every, how everything played out, you feel me? I really caught, though, like at the same time. Cause like I said, nigga was facing me, you feel me? Never coming home type like shit, you feel me? Like, on robbery, home evasion, the aggravators, they was it was more than one count of every, you know what I'm saying, of some of that shit. So shit, yeah, um, so, so you had like other people on the case with you? Yeah. Yeah. Did, did anybody yeah. like testify against anybody shit like that? See, it was it was it was a bunch of flaky shit, you know what I'm saying? It was it was some crazy shit had to happen, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It was some crazy shit that happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like the only reason. Only reason you feel me, I, it was unbeatable, is because you feel me got them. I was on camera, you know what I'm saying? Like I was in the car with them. We, you know what I'm saying? Like I was in the car, you know what I'm saying? Got them. We got pulled over. You know what I'm saying? We done got pulled over, yo. We done got pulled over. You know what I'm saying? On our way back, you know what I'm saying? Got them, and. The shit just crazy, but the shit just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga ain't even know, like, the people who I was with didn't even really know me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Other than who, other than me, my, 
from the street yeah, type shit, you know what I'm saying? So nigga wouldn't have never even been able to tell me who I was, except for when we got pulled over, you know what I'm saying? I got them, gave the police my name, you know what I'm saying? And we actually <laughs> wagged that shit. The police let us go. Damn. The police end up letting us go. You know what I'm saying? So the police fucked around and let us go. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking life, life going on. You know what I'm saying? I end up getting locked up for this shit. This is how I got locked up for this shit. And I be telling people this shit and people don't even believe in this shit. The week I got locked up, this all the shit I was doing. I got them was doing job interviews and shit. I had them went, applied for school on guy. Cause like I used to work at a TI restaurant and shit. You feel me? Got them. I was working at TI restaurant and uh in 2016 and shit like that, you feel me? But the restaurant had got closed down and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The restaurant got closed down. So, nigga got them. My mama had done got me a job interview at the Glock factory. And I go to a job interview at the Glock factory and nigga got them. I leave the Glock factory job interview and uh, they tell me, they give me this piece of paper, they tell me go get a background check. I bring the background check shit to the, to the, uh, to the courthouse. And I get to the courthouse, the people lock me up for arm. Time out, I got arm robbery, home invasion. I'm leaving the job interview. You know I'm hot. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like I'm, this shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? This shit was crazy. That's fucked up. It played out that way. It was Friday, especially when you was trying to, you know, do shit. Hey, with you know what like nigga, I had to apply for school that week. I had to apply for school that week and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, I had to apply for because I, I was. I was cooking and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I was going to go to culinary school and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to do the right thing, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Got them. And he got fucked up on that shit. Shit crazy. So did you take your case to trial or you had uh, copped out? No, man, no. It wasn't it 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 beatable. Yeah, mm. oh, yeah so it, you would have fucked yourself over, though. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, niggas taking this shit to try. Niggas got life with just one on, you know what I'm saying? Just on robbery. Yeah. So yeah. you found out like that you you had to do 10. You said you had to do a full 10 sentence. Like how- man, that shit, that shit didn't even full that shit didn't even full, feel real. You know what I'm saying? And like that shit don't even like you know what I'm saying. Like, nigga ain't never I ain't gonna like I don't know how to explain that shit. Like nigga ain't Nigga was numb to that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas still don't even be, it don't even be hitting the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga don't, I don't know how to even explain that shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? But that shit, it, nah, it, it hit home though, like, you know what I'm saying? When Mom Dukes knew him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mom, Mom, Mom Dukes and the family shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know? So like, how's your support yeah. system type shit? Like, as far as family, friends, shit like that? Like when you when they first found that you got ten years, like was people still around? I ain't never, I ain't never had no bad support system and shit like that. My, you know what I'm saying? Like my shit good. You feel me? Like that's what I'm saying. I always been straight for real. You feel me? Like that's what I'm saying. Like this my four phone and shit like that. You feel me? I, I be straight. How much don't phones like, is enough? You know, the stole and you know what I'm saying, making commissary and shit like that. It's it's just as far as like being just. Always straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, was self supporting, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Taking care, you know what I'm saying? Like, it used to be just other folks taking care of me. Now, now I ain't got to call nobody and be like, oh, can you do this for me? You know what I'm saying? Oh, can you put some money on my books or shit like that? You feel me? How much the phones are in the. Man, right now, phones is 10 bands. Damn. Right now, phones are 10 bands, bro. I got my first phone for $300, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, and it's it's two phones right in the in the in the room right now because you own one, then you own another one. This shit crazy. Yeah, you three on. Um, yeah. right <laughs> so right now, if you wanted to, you could you could you could sell you could sell a phone for like ten bands, easy. Oh yeah, I did that now. How much how much how much niggas just say the the niggas pay for a phone? No, nigga paid more like I heard like earlier this week, nigga said somehow nigga paying 13 for a phone around here, like somewhere around down here. That shit crazy. So it's like, you know, you you got you got you got weed and then you got cell phones, like what what can't you get? Like you got access to women shit like that. I don't even really want to just be like, you know what I'm saying? Just saying what what I'll be going on in the like, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? It just be, 
It is what you make it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be wanting to glorify this shit at, at the same time to, to them, you know what I'm saying? To them, to, to them, feel like, this shit ain't, you know what I'm saying? This shit ain't cool, bro. And for sure, like, watching this, everybody not living like this in jail, this shit really is fucked up. Like, yeah, no. Like, and even when you living like this, it's still fucked up. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit's still fucked up. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, make it look as good as it could get, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This shit ain't turn on nothing. I don't even give a fuck. Nigga could be a millionaire in the beat with food to the top to the top of the ceiling. What the fuck that mean? Uh, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't it. This ain't it for me, man. You feel me? Like I'm trying to got them. I can't do shit I want to do. I'm trying to got them be doing shows and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Got them yeah, yeah. taking care. Got them. I'm saying nigga doing what a nigga can. Like I say, nigga make it as good as a nigga can, bro. Make the best of a situation because you got to make the best of what your situation is, but bro, this ain't it. So how would you say like your situation? A lot of niggas, got, a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas will get locked up though. You know it's crazy. A lot of niggas will get locked up and niggas will be like they learn their lesson. Man, I learned my lesson, bro. Like everything niggas see me doing, I learned. You feel me? Like just being in here, you know what I'm saying? Like since since being here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as just patience and you know what I'm saying like the, the the I learned how like you know what I'm saying like life really is like you know how niggas be like life like a game of chess yeah no nah, that that's real that real shit everything you feel me like you got to move with strategy and everything bro how you deal with niggas you know what I'm saying like just in everything bro you know what I'm saying like just life really like a game of chess bro you know what I'm saying and like this shit taught me that shit you know what I'm saying like nigga went never like thinking I used to just be doing shit, just to do shit. You know, like nigga wasn't ever thinking. This shit crazy. So you sitting sitting down in jail, it, it kind of changed you as far as like making you a thinker. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like made me really plan and shit like that. You feel me? Like made me really plan. Like I said, I was doing music and shit. This shit made me take music shit. Make take me take music serious. Being in here, like. Just being able to just see what's going on out there all the time, just you know what I'm saying, watching what's going on and shit like that. Like being on Instagram all day and shit like that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing, like, you know what I'm saying, that nigga could just make, you know what I'm saying, being on YouTube, watching people with YouTube channels and shit like that, seeing the OnlyFans shit, you know what I'm saying? I do got that OnlyFans on the way to that. <laughs> OnlyFans link is on the way, you know what I'm saying? Turn that live from the box, SSX. I had some crazy shit on that bit for the, you know what I'm saying? All the females doing crazy shit that y'all can see what be going on in my DMs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Like I start seeing shit like that and I just start getting ideas, you know what I'm saying? Got them. And once I got once I did my first trailer video, I made and once I recorded my first song on my phone on my phone and did a little trailer video, you feel me? And I got a little reaction to that shit, I knew I was on or something. I knew I was on or something, you know what I'm saying? Like I knew it was. I just knew I was on with something, you know what I'm saying? I knew, I knew people, like it, it's people that's getting on up, like that's locked up and shit, probably rapping or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Or doing something to a beat just like that, nigga pull up with that, you know what I'm saying? Doing some shit like that. But nigga ain't making, you know what I'm saying, real songs and shit like, and then making them sound as good, you know what I'm saying? Or or making good music, you know what I'm saying? My music. I'm using speak for itself. You feel me? Like the reaction oh, is spoke for itself. So okay. shit, I be recording my phone. You feel me? Like I be recording my phone and shit. Like I be using this little app. I ain't even gonna give up the sauce for the app. I ain't even gonna get a name of the app because until this app sponsor me, I will not give the name for this app no more. Until this app sponsor me, this app gonna owe me some money because when I'm done with this app, this app gonna need to pay me. If I keep giving the name of this app. So you be you be mixing and mastering all this shit yourself? I be doing everything, bro, myself, bro. I promote myself, bro. I pay for promo myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I market my, you know what I'm saying? Like I get my I get my own mixtape covers done. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I get my own logos done. I don't want to play the music because they're gonna do some copyright shit, you know, with the uh with the yeah, I ain't gonna play the music. I ain't gonna play the music though. But yeah, for sure. That shit crazy though. Cause that's down 
This this like you can do everything that you, you know what I'm saying. And I taught myself how to use this shit. You feel me? Like when I first was doing this shit, like I was just pressing, I was just pressing the red button, and just recording over that shit. You feel me? The more I do that shit, the better I get. You know what I'm saying? Got them. Then I just knew I'd be on all kinds of shit. Where I started thinking of the clothing apparel. You know what I'm saying? Got the clothing line on the way. You know what I'm saying? I got the clothing line on the way too. You know what I'm saying? I've been having some of those free gun smoke hoodies and shit. I'm doing the uh. I'm doing a giveaway too, you know what I'm saying? I have, I'm gonna have a little giveaway coming soon, you know what I'm saying? But that steak baby is EP is on the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do some steak baby uh sweaters and shit like that too. But I just started getting all the ideas, bro, just from just watching other people, you know what I'm saying? Just being on Instagram, just learning from other people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Watching you got them, like you know what I'm saying, just interviews and shit like that. Like I, I watch all your interviews, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I watch sure. all the kind of interviews, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just be watching people. You know what I'm saying? Soaking up the game and just trying to apply that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to apply that shit. And that shit be give, give, getting me real results, you know what I'm saying? Real fans and shit like that. Like I said, my music speak for itself. So, you know, how much longer uh, you got in there? Shit, I got 18 months, you know what I'm saying? As, as, as long as I stay out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, as long as I stay out of the way and just stay out of trouble and shit like that. Are you on your way there? You, you know what I'm saying? Because got down... I, I just got um acquired, you know what I'm saying, some legal services and shit like that to try to expedite this process, you know what I'm saying? So might be even sooner, you know what I'm saying? I just you know what I'm saying speak that shit to existence, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you if you if you got 18 months left out of 10 years, you really did the hard part. Like, so when you hit 18 months, do that sound like little shit to you or still sound like damn, that's 18 months? Shit, no, nah, like shit, nigga, man, nigga done did, yeah, nigga over the hump, but it's just like, do we get everything, especially, especially with everything going on right now, you know what I'm saying, that I just been having going on right now, yeah, yeah, 18 months sound like a long time, you feel <laughs> like, nigga getting these calls and shit like that, you know, it's, it's shit that, you know what I'm saying, nigga can't do. You know what I'm saying? Nigga missing out on bags. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being here, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah that shit sound alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I be okay. ain't, like, like, not on no arrogant shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not on no, like, like I'm not no arrogant cocky nigga, but, like, bro, I'm popping, I'm more, I'm more popping than all my, got all my partners that's been out there rapping since I've been gone and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get on live right now and shit, like 30, 40, 50 people gonna get on that bit, real fans and shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with my shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being honest, so, you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. I heard, like, coming up, coming up, like, in Atlanta, you had, uh, you had met a couple people, like, L.A. Capone, uh, Solo, shit oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure, you know what I'm saying? I met a whole bunch of folks, you know what I'm saying, being in Atlanta, like, just being in Atlanta. That shit was crazy because, like I said, I used to work at a uh, T.I. restaurant and shit like that. So I used to nigga, meet people just being there, you know what I'm saying, running across people and shit like that. But I knew L.A. Capone, you know what I'm saying, personally, you know what I'm saying? That my boy, you know what I'm saying, like sixth grade, you know what I'm saying, like as Jicks, you know what I'm saying, on the girls and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Know his brother, you know what I'm saying? I know his brother, like, you know what I'm saying? That's my, that's my twin, you feel me? Shout out to Solo Capone, man, the long little L.A., man, like. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the first person I seen to actually go famous, you know what I'm saying? Or like, just have fame, you know what I'm saying? And it was crazy, because I was in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? And got them, I, I disconnected from, you know what I'm saying? Like, them and shit, me being, me being in New Orleans and shit, I ain't even know that they, that, that they left and went back to Chicago. So when I first heard one of his videos, when I first heard his uh, Play For Keeps, and we play for keeps, whole hood no me, no new niggas on the block, man. But I ain't even know that was him until he died. When he died, everybody that I, that I know in Atlanta was like reposting, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I put it, put it together, and I was like, damn. And that's when I started listening to all his music and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I still used to connect with uh, well, uh, Solo. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Me and Solo used to still connect on the goddamn every every goddamn blue moon. You know what I'm saying? Basis. And shout out to Solo, you know what I'm saying? Solo, the one who put that uh that connection together for me to get that video done. Shout out to Dada too for that, man, for that video. Y'all folks. You the one me. Dada the one that told me about you. He had uh he had started doing the video. He like, hey, bro, I'm doing an interview with somebody in prison. We look at it. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta see what's to this shit. 
Yeah, that's what yeah, I have man. Shout out to Dada, man. Dada got them, did my first video, man. And Talk To Him is on YouTube right now. Y'all folks type in Gunsmoke the Great, man. Talk To Him out now on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I used to just, you know what I'm saying, be meeting all kind of people just being out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, then, like, you know what I'm saying? We we all went to school with uh Lil Yachty, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, we all went to school, yeah. Like, and I seen like him just go famous before my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like, we had just graduated, and then by the time I got locked up and just got to prison and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was like an A-list celebrity, you know what I'm saying, on TV at the BT Awards and shit. Yeah, so like before before you had got locked up type shit, y'all, y'all was cool type shit. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? We played on the football team and shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, that was, that was the last time that, you know what I'm saying, that we went to school together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. um, we played on the football team and shit together and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that man. That man really did that shit. You feel me? Um, he did some shit a lot. I ain't, I ain't never seen, man. That man's doing it still. What type of shit was he on as shorties, though? Because I had seen, like, him do some interviews and shit and say he got locked up for scamming and shit like that. Like, like, see right down. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You feel me? Cause like, you feel me? I was in the street, bro. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? We were doing gang shit. We was like, you know what I'm saying? When I said in that, when I said in that song, when I said in that song, when I said in that song, I say we was skipping school, hitting moves, trying to strike for tools. Like, that's you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga wasn't even at school, bro. So you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even keeping up with niggas that you know what I'm saying? Like, that was at school and shit like that. You know what I'm saying, but once I get once I gave up sports and shit like that, you feel me? I was doing other shit. You know what I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying. Nigga know them. Nigga know them cause nigga know them cause uh. Nigga know them cause nigga know them cause. You know what I'm saying. We been knowing each other since sixth grade, so we always been tight and shit like that. You know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. They they were doing their thing. I was doing my thing. Shout out to that boy. Like, is that somebody you uh want to like get over once you get out type shit? On some music shit. See, you know what I'm saying? That's always gonna be my play. You feel me? Like I said, I've been knowing them folks since sixth grade. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, I ain't never, like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never, we ain't never had no bad time. That's what I'm saying. Like, we all, it's, it's always been love whenever I see them folks and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, is Atlanta like a spot? Always been love. You feel me? Like, uh, Earl on the beat. You know what I'm saying? Got that shout out to my boy. You feel me? That my, that my boy. You feel me? That's one of the really niggas I know. You know what I'm saying? He produced like that. He produced that, uh, he produced that beat. For like uh the city girls that act up, that act up, you can get some that saying shout out to him. You know what I mean? He he one of the best producers out right now and shit like that. But uh, you know what I'm saying? He he came up with, you know what I'm saying, with Yachty and his wave and shit too at the same time and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the realest people I know, bro. You know what I'm saying? He he done kept it, he done kept it 100 since I got them and gone, bro. Like ain't no ain't too many people that feel me that I, I ain't gonna cap that I could just be like, man. Is as solid as him, bro. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him and shit. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely work with them folks in the future. So like is Atlanta like a spot where like it's easy running to a lot of people type shit? Cause everybody I know they go to Atlanta be saying like it's friendly that people be networking, working together. Is that is that how it really is? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Me just growing up out there and shit, I know a lot of people and you know every if you don't know somebody, you know somebody who knows somebody, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know somebody, you know somebody who knows somebody. Imagine how that shit is. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, like, me working at T.I. restaurant, I had to make Ty Dollar sign, walk the flock, or you feel me, got down. I had to admit, got down. Tip, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I done smoked the gas with tip and shit like that. I wonder, I don't know. Now, I didn't sign no paperwork for this shit. You feel me? It was some crazy shit. So I could, I could probably speak on this shit. Nigga working on that shit, working, working at working at TI shit. We get to fighting with Stevie J and all these folks, you know what I'm saying? Shooting the love and hip hop. Man, shit was just crazy, man, working at that job. You know that was the best job I ever had, though. I ain't gonna cap like I, and it was crazy because I had an opportunity to, to introduce myself to all these people as an artist and shit like that. And I never did because I didn't want to be on no groupie shit. You know what I'm saying? Like no real like even till, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Got down working there was like the best job I ever had. Bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. And I used to got down just do all kinds of shit. You feel me? Got down be mean people and shit like that and just be amazed, but still not on no groupie shit. You know what I'm saying? Got down, might just keep, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm not saying it's just rubbing shoulders with these people, you know what I'm saying? And now I feel like you feel like me doing what I'm doing now, they'll probably remember that, you know what I'm saying? If they ever, you know what I'm saying, see me or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? And just be like, man, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? I remember him working got done, you know what I'm saying? Doing all this shit, you know what I'm saying? And now he actually, you know what I'm saying? I, I only person I I think I can say that I, I met and I just was like on some shit, let them hear some of my music with Ty Dollar Sign. He he a real one too, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Ty Dollar Sign a real one. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, you know, earlier I had spoke to you off camera. You was basically saying, like, you know, you did everything under the sun. And basically, like, you just trying to make it out. You know, make it from, uh, make something from nothing type shit and motivate people. So, like, what you mean by that when you say motivate people? Like, what you trying to motivate people to uh, start doing? Man, I just want to motivate people to know, man, no circumstance can stop nothing. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, and no certain like if if you want to do something and you and you and you dedicate you know what I'm saying if you dedicate to the, to that shit you feel me no matter what it is you know what I'm saying rapping designing clothes you feel me got them playing games nigga you know what I'm saying you got if you gonna do something do it at the highest level nigga you can sit at the house and play 2K all day but do it at the highest level do it at a professional level. You know what I'm saying? Take whatever you're doing and do it professionally. You know what I'm saying? Trying. And even if you're not professionally, do it professionally. You know what I'm saying? Tell yourself, you know what I'm saying? Act like you, you know what I'm saying? And do that shit. You feel me? I ain't no motherfucking big rapper, but get what? I'm, I carry myself. I'm going to carry myself like I am. You feel me? Get what? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to do that shit. So, man, you got to just have that confidence to just go for it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Invest in yourself. You feel me? If nobody ain't going to invest in you, invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself. You mean got them? Hopefully this shit gonna pay off, man. You feel me? I'm gonna keep going into this shit. Don't you feel me? Some days nigga be wanting to give up the shit, you know what I'm saying? But I know I'm one step, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm one, I'm I'm further than where I started at, you know what I'm saying? So I could be one, I could be one day away from, you know what I'm saying, one song away from making the hit. Or you know what I'm saying? Nigga just give up today, you know what I'm saying? So keep going, you feel me? I'm just trying to motivate, you know what I'm saying, and make it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got. I got people, I don't waste the time. You feel me? I'm trying to make up for this time. You feel me? I'm trying to make up for all this time, bro. I like the way you think though. Like I feel like the way you think, you're gonna be successful for sure. Like you you remind me of how I think, because like I'm the type of person, no matter what the situation is, I'm gonna try to make the best out of it. Like I I, I had I was on house arrest and I, I made the most money in my life on house arrest. And it was cause I, I sat down, I locked in, yeah. and I had that time to to use yeah, my time. Yeah. That's how it is. Like I, I ain't gonna lie, I seen the most money I've ever seen. You feel like I seen money in here that I haven't seen on the street. Yeah, my, you know your your brain a powerful thing. Like when you really could sit down and lock, and sometimes it take jail or take house or shit like that. Because when you out, you living too fast, and you just, you know, yeah, that shit crazy. Like you would never think you feel me. Like all the shit that you capable of. Be like I ain't never think that I could just sit there and make me got them a song on the phone. If, Songs on the phone like that, I would have been doing that. Yeah, you me got them. I would have been doing that. You know what I'm saying at the house and shit like that. You feel me? I would have been went got me some real equipment though. You know what I'm saying? I would have went. It would have been nothing to have laptop and shit. Got me a little mic and shit and been at the house feel me playing. They said if I if I knew I could have did that shit myself. Feel me like like even just learning the tricks of, of of the music shit. You feel me like people think that that shit is that shit ain't just what people think, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit. You know what I'm saying? People ain't just going viral and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? These keys to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just trying to got them make it, bro. Feel me? I'm trying to make it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whether I make it from any bit or I got a wait till I get, you know what I'm saying? And y'all don't hear about me being mainstream or something like that. Till I get out, get with it. I'm going to keep it in y'all face. You feel me? Motherfuckers going to know Gunsmoke the Great. You feel me? Gunsmoke the Great. I could, I could tell, like, you probably, you probably uh, be venturing the other shit too. Like, it might not. It might not even be just rap. Like it seemed like the way you think, you the type of person that's gonna try and make it any type of way. Cause like, uh, hey, yeah, you feel me? Like, like I said, uh, man, I got the clothing line on the way. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I wanna, I, man, nigga, like I've been the big. You know what I'm saying? That like I be missing, I be missing the street so much because like all the little drip and shit like that. But I got my own little clothing line. So I wanna do clothes and shit. You know what I'm saying? I could do movies. You feel me? Niggas do. Put me in a movie, you feel me? I feel like I could, I could do all this. <laughs> the nigga ain't fucking with me. I'm a real, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a real entertainer, bro. You feel me? Like, not even on no entertaining shit. Like, like I said, the shit that we doing, you know what I'm saying? The shit that we be talking about, we really did this shit, bro. Like, nigga ain't even, 
They ain't even trying to do that shit no more. I want, I want this little money that these niggas give me to just do shows and go through a club and shit, just for a walk through and shit like that. For so, so you know when, when you yeah, come home, like what's 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 the first thing you what, what's the first thing you gonna do when you touch down? I tell I saw that shit all the way, and I and it be something different every time. <laughs> it be, you know what I'm saying? Like I, mean, I feel like they're gonna be too excited, but the first thing I want to do is put my hands on some money or something. No cap, like you know what I'm saying? Like I be it be something different every time because my dreams get bigger every time. You feel me? So, see, tomorrow, you feel me? Like sometimes I'll be like, shit, I want to get out and jump straight in the Lambo or some shit, or jump in the pay for race or some shit and pull out this bitch. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Got Jewelry it. and all that shit. You feel me? I want to be having like I'm trying to set, I'm trying to set myself up from in here. By the time I get out, <laughs> I'm going home to the bag. You feel me? I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go home to the bag. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Sign That's myself. The beauty of shit too, because I'm not to nobody in name. That's the beauty of this shit. Like, being in jail is fucked up, but if you if you if you always try to turn limits to lemonade, you look at it like it ain't too much money you could spend in there. Like you you know you can right. spend some money, yeah, but man. it ain't too much. Like, you spend, you make all those spend all your money on, on, on shit like that. Yeah, so you really can stack no bills. Up for sure. Like you forced to stack really, so shit. Right. As long as you keep on keep on stacking that shit, when you come home, you already know what time right. it is. My streams and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I've been building the real fan base and shit like that. My shit on all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, you feel me? iTunes, I mean, uh, iHeartRadio, you feel me? Got none. So, Gun Smoke the Great, you feel me? Gun Smoke the Great, man. It's an X, it's an X instead of an O in Gun Smoke, you feel me? That's what a lot of people get mixed up, they be looking for it with. Y'all gonna, if y'all don't know how to spell it, y'all gonna learn how to spell it. Matter of fact, cause I'm gonna I'm I'm throw your social media in this interview and shit, so like, Tell the people exactly how to find you on social media. Spell it out for them so they, you know. Oh yeah, y'all can find me on Instagram, man. Got down Brazy Baby Gunsmoke, man. B R A Z Y Baby B A B Y Gunsmoke G U N S M X K E. You feel me? Got down. Y'all can follow me on Twitter too. You feel me? I'm on Twitter. Got down my Twitter shit. You feel me? Trying to get my my Twitter shit straight. You feel me? Got down my Twitter shit. It's hood number eight. Two seven D L U M. You feel me? No cap. Feel me? My YouTube channel. You feel me? Most definitely. Gun smoke the great. Everybody subscribe, like, and comment on all my videos. Got the only fans on the way to the link in my Instagram bio. Make sure y'all go follow us, man. Support them, man. So you know, I want to ask you, like, you got yeah, yeah, man, like this crazy. for like the shorties and shit that's that's watching this. That's probably in the streets or think about getting the streets coming up. Like, you got something to tell the shorties? Man, if if, if you if you a little kid and you watching this man and y'all and y'all like y'all in a bad situation, bro. If y'all want to get out that bad situation, bro, before y'all think about doing some crazy shit, the more work you do while you young, that shit pay off. By the time you twenty, you know what I'm saying, if you put in work while you fifteen to ten, you know what I'm saying, not even ten years, you know what I'm saying, because this little kid, bro, it's seventeen, eighteen year old that's me, you know what I'm saying, that's got bags. Apply your brain, bro, you know what I'm saying? Get on that computer and do some research and shit, you feel me? And think about all the shit you could do. It's a million ways to get some money for y'all. Think about doing some crazy shit, bro. Being in the streets and shit, doing that shit out here and on the songs them niggas rap about. That shit ain't, that, 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 that shit gonna get you dead. If you see them rappers is dying and shit like that, you feel like rappers is dying, bro, you feel me? Trying to live their songs, you feel me? Instead of just, you know what I'm saying, enjoying their success. You know what I'm saying? Being a successful, you know what I'm saying? Artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, people can't even enjoy their success because niggas still stuck in the street. So, man, that street shit only gonna get you in here, you feel me, or dead. If you miss niggas in here, that's never going on. Yeah, I think, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, you 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 up on the drill scene, like, you know, the drill music and shit from Chicago? Yeah, yeah, the facts, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you feel me? <laughs> LA is long little LA, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, man. John, man. Got them solo Capone. You feel me? I fuck go get his shit too, man. Shit is on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I keep up with all that shit, man. I've been I've been keeping up with that shit since I was 15. You feel me? Like niggas be, I just was having an argument with a nigga the other day, you feel me? The same age as me. They talking about they came up on Boosie. And I'm like, man, niggas did not come up on Boosie. I I oh I could be big cousins and shit came up on Boosie and them and shit like that. But like niggas like I came up on Chief and them, you know what I'm saying? We all the same age. 
Lil Herb and you feel me, all these niggas, Lil Dirt and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I've been fucking with that shit, you know what I'm saying? FBB, you know, Black, you know what I'm saying? FBG Duck, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Got them, uh, Lil J, you know what I'm saying? Cloud Lord, I'm legendary, you know what I'm saying? I've been fucking with all of them, you know what I'm saying? So I've been fucking with that shit forever. That's just so crazy, but I had asked you about the drill scene because, like, I feel like it's 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 like it's somewhat it it did more damage than good. Like, I feel like it, it kind of brainwashed people because you'll watch some like all the people you name, you watch somebody like Chief Keith, and you see how he got on. Not the facts. And then it's Not like, a fact. That, that, nigga, that, that shit affected me. Yeah, it's a mirror other shorties that's trying to do what he did, but not gonna end up like him. They end up in jail or dead. And it's like every few months a new rapper get on and everybody see that one rapper get on, but they not looking at all the other niggas that died trying to do the same shit. So it's like, I be trying to show people like it's other ways. Like, you know, you could do videos. Like people don't know that I used to think cameraman was lame, bro, but this shit changed my life, bro. Like for real, for real. Like it's a lot of shit you could do. And a lot of rappers really don't, not living like how you think they living. So it's like, it's a lot of other things you can do. Uh, that's facts, you feel me? Niggas just rapping about that shit, man. And it's like all kind, like you say, man, it's all kind of shit to do, bro. Whether it's pick up a camera and be a cameraman or, you know what I'm saying, pick up, do, get it, get your computer and do some beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or engineer, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, bro, these people got them edit video, you know what I'm saying? People just be editing video or make Instagram cover art, bro. That shit ain't nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? That shit, the shit that you think hard, bro, I would think that this shit was hard, bro. You know how easy this shit is? You gotta to make a song on the phone. Nigga don't know, you know what I'm saying? Cause nigga ain't even trying. You feel me? Like you got to just try different shit, bro. The most shit you try, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You never know what you're good at. You know what I'm saying? You never know your talent. If you ain't found your talent in life, you gotta keep trying until you find this shit. You never know what you might like. I think a lot of people mm -hmm. downfall be they tell themselves they can't do something before they even try. Cause if, if you would have told me to shoot a video. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I can't do that. But once I got put on house service and I was bored and I had shit else to do, I learned how to do it. So it's really like, it's it's like, it's what you willing to do, for real. Like, facts, yeah, yeah, facts. You feel me? Like, you got to, you got to, you got to actually just do that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you do it, you got to build it, you got to do it like yourself as a brand. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I look at myself as a brand. I don't just look at myself, you know what I'm saying? I look at myself as a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like anybody who, if anybody who trying to fuck with me, you feel me? Anybody who trying to, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, before I sign any kind of papers or do something like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I know that, I know what I bring to the table, bro. You know what I'm saying? I bring more than just, you feel me? I'm a, I got a whole brain, you feel me? It's just not just me. So people got to look at this. So whether you cooking, whether you cooking got damn food or some shit like that, you got a food truck or some shit like that, you got to be, you got to think big with that shit. Yeah. I'm trying to take this shit to like a whole nother level. So, you know, before we close out, is there anything else you want to say? Any messages, shout outs you want to get off your chest, shit like that? Man, hell yeah, man. That state babies is on the way, man. I got a whole shout bunch of shit, guy. man. Yeah, shout out to all the bros, man. Free all the gang members, man. Real gang shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of people don't be thinking, a lot of people think, like, you know what I'm saying? I know with Chicago, I don't know how the gang shit is and, and down there and shit, but like, here, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, Bloods, Crips, GDs, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got them, you know what I'm saying? We all got them getting so many together, man. Really, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the gang members and shit like that, man. Shout out to all the niggas that can't make it home and shit and the niggas that's not coming home, man. Long little me, you know what I'm saying? Making this big egg got down bacon cheeseburger right now, you know what I'm saying? Because we is locked up, not fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So y'all don't even know what the fuck, man. Um, bro, let them know how to find you one more time on social media. Yeah, man, I want everybody to got them go follow my Instagram, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all follow my YouTube as well, man. Gun Smoke the Great, man. Gun Smoke the Great on all platforms now, man. Apple Music, you feel me? Got them Spotify, everything. You feel me? Like, nigga could look for me. Like, if you type my name in on Google, if you type in Gun Smoke the Great on Google, everything gonna pop up, you know what I'm saying? But like, my Instagram name is Brazy Baby Gun Smoke. So everybody go follow me, man. Real soon, man. I'll be on real soon, man. This shit crazy because niggas gonna know who I am. If you don't know, you feel me? If y'all haven't tuned into this interview, if y'all catch this interview late, later down the line, y'all remember this interview, man. Bro got them, gave me one of my first interviews, man. You know what I'm saying? He a real one. Shout out to you for doing this again, bro. I wanted to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I feel real one.
shit you doing, you know what I'm saying? The opportunities and shit that, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't even, niggas don't even remember this shit. The people who helped help them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember that shit, bro, you feel me? That's why you heard me shout out the people who I shouted out in my interview today, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be remembering that shit, bro. That's what's up. I'm glad you like that, because that's that's a fact. Like, it's a lot of people who, who don't, but that ain't what I do it for, you know? So I don't really be tripping over that. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, man, that State Baby's up in the drop real soon. That's the baby's, nigga. That State Baby's dropping real soon. Oh, that shit wasn't recorded. That's a song or a project. That's the whole EP now. That's the tape now. Uh, Me and my homie Catch Up. Catch Up, got down, you feel me? Got down. He on that motherfucker. If y'all got them ever heard one of my songs on my Instagram, one of the videos that went viral, you feel me? I got 25,000 views on my page on it. Uh, yes, one of his videos, you feel me? Uh, him singing, you feel me? Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna call him in here. I wanna call him in here, let him hit, let, let him, let him, let him hit, let him hit a note. Let me let him hit a note for y'all there, man. You know I said? Let him start on Instagram too. I said, we got a state babies in the way. When we say state babies, let me explain the state babies. We some state babies because you feel me like the states made us. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like this, this shit made us. You know what I'm saying? Like came here as as boys. You feel me? Like I said in one of my in one of the new songs we did. I say, I say, uh, what I said in that motherfucker. I say, uh, I say, been going through some hard times. My mama always taught me heat and pressure do make diamonds. Gotta have endurance and some patience when you grinding. Went up in that jungle as a boy came out. I said, went up, went up in that jungle as a boy came out of lion. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean with state baby when I say this state baby shit. So, you know, so I'm gonna let him come hit some shit for y'all though, real quick before I get up out of here, man. Uh, so y'all can know, like, this shit that we doing is legendary. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't never did this. And if y'all if y'all know some niggas who done did this shit and they doing this shit like us, man, tell them hit me so we can get them on the state baby tape. You know what I'm saying? Any any nigga that's any nigga that's watching this interview locked up somewhere and y'all niggas recording, y'all nigga hit me, man. We we need y'all on on the state, baby tape. Cause get what? That's gonna be a a, a, a platinum got them. Y'all gonna remember that tape like that's uh, crazy. I ain't gonna lie, cause I ain't I ain't never heard no shit like that. Especially yeah, niggas know, in, in different jails collabing on songs yeah. and shit. Like, hey, that shit'll get crazy. Hey, baby, shit, man. Oh, what's the word? Tell them folks where to follow you at, man, and shit like that, man. Yo, what the fuck going on? What's good? I follow me on IG, man. Catch up underscore one. K E T X H U P underscore one. Hit a note for them real quick. I told him you were going to hit a note for them before we end the interview. He recording the interview, but it's an interview. Oh, what, what, what you say? Oh, yeah, they know what's going on. I ain't know what's going on. There ain't no, there ain't nobody in the video. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? But go put on the spotlight one time. You feel me? Oh, no, soon how you come, you gotta go crazy one time. Say that, man. This is got down. No, I be got down singing this shit too. So, no, I say. I can't help the. I say I can't help the fact she love me unconditional. I'm in my feelings thinking about how I be missing you. He got them keys to my heart, baby, don't go away. It's like a dream in your mind, but love me the same way. I used to see how the heck does it went far away. Now we need it was fact, now I can finally say. Baby, I'm sorry if I ever broke your heart. But if it's love that we got, then we won't be apart. We won't be apart. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one you need, babe. It's like a picture that you painted, I can't see it, baby. Feeling like a blind man, pretty wishing I can see. But you're just another girl, I know that I don't need TK. I'm lying if I said I didn't want it. I can tell by you right that you focus. Yeah, yeah. Come up on his pony. Come up on his pony. Yeah. See, I can't help the fact she love me unconditional. I made my feelings thinking about how I be missing you. He got the keys to heart, baby, don't go away. It's like a dream in your mind, but love me the same way. 
I used to see how the heck cause it was far away. Now we need it was fake. Now I can finally say, maybe I'm sorry if I ever broke your heart. But if you love that we got, then we won't be apart. We won't be apart. That's why I be trying to get people to understand, you feel me? Like, all the talent in here, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got the free to real, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. State, baby, it's just going away, man. Free how did, how you, what's, what's, your, uh, what's your name again, bro? Hey, catch your on the score one. All right, for sure. When this interview drop, make sure everybody hey. follow. Hey, K-E-T-X-H-U-P on the score one. For sure. I'm gonna have him, you know what I'm saying, on the whole state, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we, we really down there a duo, Robbie, you know what I'm saying? If if them folks take me, then they can come with me, you know what I'm saying? That's facts, you feel me? Like that nigga is one of the hardest niggas. We be having competitions in them motherfuckers, you feel me? Like every song we get better than bitch, no cap. You be you be rapping, he be rapping and shit too? You said what? He be rapping too? Oh man, let look. Uh which one we'll see? Free to roll. We'll do some shit acapella, yeah. All right. Free to roll. Oh, you want to hear some other shit? It's easy to say people rap, bro. They make me got down. Stop it. That nigga do he rap. That nigga be rapping, but hell, guys. Y'all ain't heard that shit, man. The state baby's gonna see. Y'all gonna hear that shit. Y'all just gonna be blown away. You see me got down. Well, let's hear that free to roll. I said, matter of fact, I got it on my phone. Yeah. Free to roll. I got it on my phone, matter of fact. Unless y'all hear this shit, man. This is an exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Y'all getting this exclusive got the 16, man. It's far black, man. Unless I get this little exclusive real quick. <laughs> hey, man. All high as fuck, man. That's why I be telling them we be on the real zone. <laughs> you get this shit? Yeah. Hey, yo, Saying I'm a twin, I got you right on. Ice. I got ice on my and it butted out. They see we up now. You don't wanna fuck now. I catch up, I kill her. This show my rock at. We in the truck all day, never crack at. But this is my toes, you feel my cheese, the way I step right. You lay your life like tips had told you, you get this that. The freedom road on the road, huh? No, I can't tap out. No, I won't. The freedom road on the road, gang gang, yeah. Gun smoke. Why would I tell you? We taking off. None of these niggas can catch us. Know that we next up. I'm in this bitch with a catch up. Fucking with him, you get away from the neck up. Live from the box, we drop the tape, and they ain't need no investors. You fucking with apes, you can get eight. Bro, you flat as a stretcher. See the nigga went viral from jail. I'm not looking for clock, but it's working. See, I ran up my bands in the cell. If I make me a call on my cell, best believe my young niggas put work in. Every rap that I spit out my head, I ain't talking no Nick Cannon. Every rap that I spit out my head, I ain't talking no Nick Cannon. Sorry, They see we up now, they all wanna fuck now. I catch a up, I get a up, bitch, I'm on rack at. I'm on rack at. in the truck all day, never pack at. Huh? But listen, my toes are real, my jeans. Nigga, you live your life like Tit Tat told you, you get. Feel free to roll down the road, can't let them mess at. Beat Vanessa Christian Louboutin. Hold on. Follow me, man. Follow me. Hey, good on, tell me. I'm got that, sir. Hey, y'all can swing in, man. Stay with babies on the way, man. For sure, for sure. Big Vanessa, Christian Louboutin, when I walk on this thing, got a whole lot of money on me. I done changed them a little, drill all like I can. All of my odds don't like me. So who you with? My name is Ketchup. I won't go for no setup. Make your big give a neck up. Legs up. When I hear from the back end, she don't go to the headboard. Paranoid, you ain't popping no paranoid. Start on them out of schedule. Hellcat still screaming out, fuck, man. You look like I'm chill cord. I'm saying, cold cap, man. I ain't, man. That's the only one I'm gonna let y'all get. You know what I'm saying? I bet that shit, that shit hard, bro. 
But yeah, man, um, y'all folk got down. Stay tuned, man, for that state, baby, man. Free the bros, man. Mm-hmm. And smoke the great catch up, man. Y'all stay tuned in. Sure. Uh, let people know who uh, got out with you to do the interview. Yeah, yeah. man. Start at 16 shot, man. Visuals, man. You feel me? Got down. And we're going to do some. We got some more shit on the way. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bro again for please doing, for doing this video for me. You know what I'm saying? This interview. This is my second interview. You feel me? But a lot of niggas ain't doing that shit, man. Like, a lot of niggas ain't doing what you doing, period. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to niggas giving the opportunity to some niggas that's locked up. You know what I'm saying? Free the bros, like I said, man. For real. Alright, bad luck. Everybody looking up. No cap. Y'all stay tuned in. Alright.